from Exton and Walton down to Croston and all I'm hearing back is there's big crowds everywhere on the routes all having a good time and that's because people put the effort in for the last few weeks and that's have, you, have you been surprised at the number of, of people who, who've turned out today? Very surprised. Obviously, what's happened elsewhere in the country, I think we've you know, it's been seen it coming. But I think it just shows that when people feel they can buy into something and get involved in a community event, they will do. This is the start of a big weekend, surely. We've got a picnic in the park tomorrow, organised by the council, where um, there's lots of Olympic events, triumph events tomorrow. And then obviously the Jubilee on Monday, there's lots of street parties, lots of events going on again in the town. So the whole weekend in Chorley of community events where people can get involved in their community. And people want to, that's what we've seen this morning, people want to get involved in their community. Yeah, Lindsay, it's, it's a uh, special weekend, isn't it? It's a great weekend, isn't it? And isn't it good, you know, we've got a new council in place, young councillors. I would have thought that that young... It's about teamwork. It's about me working with this council and this council... With you can trust from BBC Radio Lancashire. Road closures now in place heading through across the 581 uh, is closed off. Meadow Lane has been closed off now whilst the torch possession passes through there. And then it'll go into transit mode between Croston through to Bursco. Uh, link uh, road closures are already in place as well through Bursco. We're hearing the 59 Moss Lane uh, has already been closed and Liverpool Road South. Moving well on the motorways and no issues uh, to report to you on public transport. No cancellations are made for May. But anything affecting your journey, you can give us a call if it's safe and legal too. It's 0330123081. It's 8.30 on BBC Radio Lancashire. It's Graham live at breakfast. We're live from Chorley following the Olympic torch. We'll catch up with it in Bursko very shortly. But first with the news headlines this morning, here's Ralph Plums. Thank you, Graham. Lancashire is playing host to the Olympic torch relay. The torch came into the county on the outskirts of Chorley just after quarter past seven this morning. Thousands have lined the streets as it winds its way through West Lancashire. An official watchdog has found evidence to suggest that many elderly patients are needlessly suffering cardiac arrest in hospital because junior staff are failing to respond adequately to their complaints. A number of schools in Blackburn with Darwin are to benefit from improvements to their buildings. The local council has been given almost £5 million pounds to spend by the government. MPs are this morning calling for stricter rules on the use of government credit cards. They discovered cases of staff buying donuts, booking luxury hotel rooms and shopping online. And Lancashire Police are beginning their annual summer drink drive campaign today. It means drivers can expect to see checkpoints on some roads over the coming months. A move the police say designed to act as a deterrent during the forthcoming European football tournament. Lancashire's weather cloudy with some outbreaks of light rain. Drier and brighter later. Top temperature 18 Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Those are the headlines. More online at bbc.co.uk slash Lancashire. It's Graham with Breakfast. Good morning. Thank you, Ralph. It's uh, BBC Radio Lancashire. We're live from Chorley today. Still an awful lot of people here in the flat iron market because you can come down to the BBC bus and have your picture taken on some kind of BBC blue screen thingamajig. I don't particularly understand it. And uh, you can have your picture on Facebook. And I think it has your picture taken in the big uh, Olympic Stadium, which of course is going to be rather busy when the Olympic torch reaches there on Saturday, July the 27th. And it's on its journey right now going through Lancashire. We'll catch up with it very, very shortly. But first, let's get, up, get to today's latest sports news. Your sports station, BBC Radio Lancashire. And with all the details this morning, here's Dan Jill. Thank you, Graham. We'll start with cricket and Lancashire will be looking to take some early Durham wickets on the third day of their championship match at the Riverside. The Red Rolls lead by 68 after being bowled out for 170 on a rain affected second day. Chesterly Street, Scott Reed reports. After a spectacular first day, the second was a deeply frustrating one. Just a few overs were possible, enough to knock over the Lancashire tail. Kyle Hogg's 33 in his stand of 49 for the ninth wicket with Paul Horton could prove crucial. Horton ended on beating on 49, becoming only the seventh Lancashire batsman in 77 years to carry his bat. And on a pitch that has caused Tory problems for the batsmen so far, the Red Roster with two days to go are in a good position to push on for victory. To football and Frank Lampard's departure from the England squad for Euro 2012 due to a thigh injury has been described as a huge blow by Roy Hodgson. The England manager has already lost Gareth Barry and now has concerns over Scott Parker's Achilles problem. Brendan Rodgers will be officially introduced as a new Liverpool manager today. The Reds have called a press conference at 10 o'clock this morning. Blackpool striker Kevin Phillips is eyeing 20 goals next season. The 38-year-old is set to hang up his boots in 12 months' time and wants to go out with a bang. 
Isle of Man TT legend John McGuinness could be about to make yet more history when this year's event begins tomorrow. The Morecambe rider, who has 17 wins to his name, will compete this year on an electric bike and he thinks it gives him a chance of adding yet another victory. It feels good, the chassis is good, it stops and turns and steers, it's fun to ride, you know. Every time you get on it you just want to go faster in a straight line and that's all I keep saying to these fellas, more power, more power, but you forget we're still racing a battery, but as an overall package and a bike and the chassis and everything else, I'm, I'm, I'm well excited, I'm looking forward to riding on the other man. Two athletics and the build-up to the London Olympics continued last night with a Diamond League meeting in Rome. One man inevitably stole the show. And Bolt from a Zappa Powell is bowled by a metre from Powell in second place. 9.76 seconds. It's Usain Bolt's fourth fastest time in history. So many people that are spilling onto the road itself. You can hear as the convoy vans and buses all pass by here now. We're still waiting for the torch relay runners to pass by me. Some oversized beetles, that's the band championship. And 90 children from the local family school. So it's a great day for Bristol, absolutely brilliant day. I can just see to my left hand side the torch bearer taking lots and lots of pictures. A lot of people here have been telling me it's a once in a lifetime event. They come down just to see this because it will never happen again in their lifetime. So there goes the torch and it's just passing the railway bridge now. On its way through Bosco, for Torch. To welcome the torch next time it's in the county because it's a bit day for it today, but it's going to be in Lancashire again on Friday the 22nd. Friday the 22nd of uh, June is going to be here when it's uh, in Liverpool tonight and it's live on the telly on BBC One and North West tonight from 6.30 and then from 7, a special programme uh, with uh, Roger Johnson. Uh, that's just from 7 o'clock tonight. Right now, quarter to nine, let's get an update on the roads. Travel you can trust. From BBC Radio Lancashire. In Croston Road, certain places have been reopened. 8.59 though, heading through Bursco, closed. Both in Joshua Meadow Lane, we've had our diversion to not uh, heading to get pulled towards the relay. Uh, but it's closed off down towards Liverpool Road south. Uh, so possession makes its way through there. And also the junction with Square Lane, quite a busy junction, Square Lane. Lancashire live with the torch through the county. Let's get the user box as you this morning now from Ralph Wilson. Thank you, Graham. An official watchdog has accused some doctors of ignoring the wishes of elderly hot John Watson and the torch. I like that. Oh, Motty. Um, Graham, have you looked at the flame itself? It is a proper flame. Yes. It's not one of those, you know those clever bits of silk and circles? 8,000 perforated circles on the torch. The design is to represent each one of the inspiring torch bearers who are taking part in it, because 8,000 people... <laughs>